Hello and welcome back to downtown. It's time to continue with the um, getting to know the family <laughs> part of this Let's Play series. And uh, yeah, we're going to randomize what the second family I'm going to move in. So we have 16 families left out of the ones that I want to start with. Then, of course, I'm saving the Diva and the Anderson twins, as well as the um, Ninja or the Trico family for later. So I'm going to bring up random.org and generate one between one and 16. So it's going to be the 14th family this time. So let's see what family that is. Okay, it's the Wilson family. So I don't remember if uh, this is a mother with two sons or if it is uh, a sister with two younger brothers. I'm going to have to see <laughs> what I did with this. Uh, but I'm going to start out with uh, giving them some funds. And it all also depends on where I want them to live. I think I might want to move them into the same house that I moved in the other family, but move them into that apartment that had two rooms in it instead. That might be good. Like the topmost apartment without the driveway. I think that might work. And uh, I think I'm going to put them in a similar monetary situation, but give them a little bit more money. So I think I'm going to give them 10,000 simoleons instead of 5,000 to start out with. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So yeah, I'm going to move them into the same here, but um, into an empty apartment unit. And here we are with a family. So we've got... Lindsay, Lauren, and Ash, apparently. And I have a sneaking suspicion that these are her children. Yes, they are. And of course, this is Lauren, who is also one of John Smith's children. Uh, so these boys are uh, siblings, but with different fathers. And um, Ash's father is a mystery for now. But that means that I'm going to have to consider... Lindsay's age as well. Uh, she could have been a pretty young mother, but um, yeah, she should be about middle age or something, I think. So yeah, but first things first, let's rent the apartment. It was this one I was thinking, because then um, I'm thinking Lindsay can have this one and then the boys can share this one. That should work. So I'm going to rent this one for them. It looks like the boys are starting to arguing, the first thing they do. <laughs> nice. So now the apartment is uh, rented and I can plop out the uh, objects I need. All right, so if we start with Lindsay, let's check in on her uh, traits. So Lindsay's gender preference is straight. That makes sense as well if she has had children and uh, yeah, specifically with a man as well. And right now her hobby is science, but I'm going to randomize it once. Let's see what Lindsay got. Okay, she's back at science, so she's going to keep the science uh, hobby. All right, uh, I'm writing that down in the spreadsheet. And I'm checking in on Ash. He is also straight. He had also science from the start, but I'm randomizing it once. It's back to science again. Is this really working? Do I have to like play time between? Or is it just random? Okay, it's, oh. Sure, he can keep the science then. And uh, let's finish with Lauren. He's also straight. And he had sports from the start. Now it's fitness. All right, so he's uh, actually randomized. So it is working. It just was random that it, <laughs> they still had science. That's fine. 
great. And then I'm going to check in on their careers. Okay, so um, Lindsay is actually employed in the science career already. Uh, but her lifetime wish from the start has been become chief of staff. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to randomize her secondary aspiration. So I'm going to roll a d6 die that I have here. It was number two. So I'm starting here where it's grayed out and going clockwise two. So she got family as a secondary one. And I'm going to give her all of the need ones. And I'm writing down in the spreadsheet that Lindsay's secondary is family. Great. And then I'm also going to uh, randomize the uh, lifetime wish because now she uh, also has the family lifetime wishes to pick from. So I'm going to the uh, lifetime uh, chooser <laughs> and re-rolling once. Okay. She wants to become a world-class ballet dancer. That's interesting. Is she into a culture? She is, actually. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm giving her that. Level 10 dance career. That's interesting. Um, that can uh, speak about like a um, wish that she had originally. But then she became pregnant at a young age and had to plan other things. Very interesting. But she has gone with um, her hobby, though, her favorite hobby. So it, it is something she she likes. But uh, yeah, I think that this means that she has made a lot of sacrifices for her children. Interesting. Um, right, so if she... Now this is interesting because if she wanted to pursue a career in dance originally... She might not have had the science major. Let me bring up that list with um, the uh, majors and careers. All right, so let's see. Drama has dance. Is that the only one with dance? Yeah, it's the only one with dance. It's just, it's so different from science, isn't it? And I'm thinking, would she have needed a specific degree to be able to pursue a career in science? Because someone with a drama major have been employed in the science career? Seems unlikely. No, I think she would have had to um, switch to physics. It's, it's possible that she started out as a drama major, but then if she became pregnant during her college years, then she might have had to make other plans. Possibly. So I think yeah, it's maths or physics. I think I'm going to go with physics for her in that case. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to the bat box, upgrade sim and physics. Right. And um, yeah, she's going to keep the science career. I think I'm going to let her keep this level for now. She's the chairman of the science department at Sim University. It seems like she should have a better living conditions in that case, though. So maybe it doesn't make sense, actually. If I bring her career level down a bit, I mean, level three is field researcher. I don't think that makes sense. And the level four is the science teacher, which could work with the high school if I want to go with that. Otherwise, level five is project leader. No, I think I might go with the science teacher, actually. The salary makes more sense with the living conditions, I think. But it also makes sense if she has worked her way up since graduating as well, that she has a higher level career. And she could possibly fit in into the um, high school. We'll have to see if there's competition. <laughs> but that could be a, a good idea. So, yeah, she's going to be science teacher. All right, and um, if we go to Ash, he is also in the science career. He's actually at level three, a lab assistant. Lauren is employed in the uh, military career as a paintball attendant. 
I normally don't go with the military career, but if it's paintball, then uh, I suppose it could make sense in downtown, right? <laughs> if there's like a paintball place. <laughs> yeah, it could make sense. Yeah, so I'm going to let them keep those careers for now. Right, and uh, for now, Ash has the lifetime wish to become Hall of Famer. Okay, interesting. And Lauren uh, wants to marry off six children. Okay, he wants to go in his father's footsteps with a lot of kids, apparently. Um, but yeah, Lauren doesn't know who his father is, though. So that's the, the story that I'm going with, that none of John Smith's um, out of wedlock children knows that he is their father. I'm trying to think how much older Lindsay is going to be. I'm going to start with 10 days older, I think, because the university period is around 8 to 9 years in my playthrough. Right, so aging 5 days older, Lindsay. I'm going to go again. 5 days older, Lindsay. Then that would give me more time with her. She's still quite young, not really middle-aged, but she, she could also have had children at a young age. I think the math checks out, <laughs> not going too deep into it. Um, it should work. And then um, I don't want this, of course, to be twins. They can't be because they don't have the same father. So one of them is, has got to be older than the other one, but I don't know who I want to to go with. I think I might roll a die. Uh, so if it is um, a result of one to three, it's going to be Ash who's older. And if it is a result of four to six, it's going to be Lauren. Okay, so I got uh, a four on the die. So Lauren is going to be the older sibling. And I'm going to play two days uh, today with them and I want him to still be a teenager for a little bit before I move on so I think I'm I'm gonna age him with three days or three years then he can be three years older than his little brother there we go and then he has four days left and Ash has seven days left uh, but then it doesn't really make sense that he's level three <laughs> in the science career. Uh, so I think I'm going to bring that down actually to level one. Lab glass scrubber. Yeah, so that checks out great. And yes, I'm going to need to change the season to spring. So that's the fourth season. Great. And there's five days left in spring. Great. So yeah. I'm going to give them makeovers and then I'm going to send the boys to school and yeah, she actually starts pretty early. Yeah, I might set the, the hour to a bit earlier um, later as well. But yeah, let's start with Lindsay's makeover. I'm going to go to the Gusty Up menu, change appearance. All right, so she has these little tight buns all over her head. So maybe something that's slightly similar, I don't know. <laughs> I've recently gone on a downloading binge of these um, textured hairs. And um, I highly, highly recommend a video by Lito Mills. And also a great resource that she's put together for curly and textured hairs. Really, really huge help. I'm going to link to that in the description box below because yeah, she, she did a huge job of that. Uh, but yeah, I could find these really great hairstyles. So I have a lot to pick from here all of a sudden. I think I might go with this because I feel like she is a very neat person. You know, put together and structured very logical and like um, practical is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so I think that she would try to keep her uh, hair away and up. Like a neat hairstyle is what I'm imagining for her. Uh, but this also, yeah, I think I might want to check out her different 
um, hairstyles for different outfits. Because I might be able to find something that looks like this hair, but, but down for certain hairstyles. I think this could work. Let me just keep looking. I think the alternative is this, probably. No, I think I like the other one better on her. Yeah. I'm going with that. She can have it loose when she sleeps as well. Yeah, and the swimwear needs to be up, and the athletic as well, and then outerwear up. Yes. Nice. So let's go to makeup. She doesn't have anything on from the start. No, I think no eyeliner on her. I think I like this one on her. Something pretty neutral. And I, I really like her eyebrows, so she, <laughs> she has to keep those. Yeah. Great. And then I can also go to um, buy clothes, everything. So the shirt she was wearing from the start was very, you know, party clothes, <laughs> I feel like. Um, but I mean, she she could be a party animal kind of person. Even if she, she's like shy she does live in downtown and her dream was to become a professional dancer. So she could definitely be into like going out and dancing at the clubs. Um, which is, yeah, would be pretty uh, uncommon for a knowledge sim, I think. But I mean, it could definitely suit her. When I'm taking in the, the outfit she was wearing at least. So I'm going to see what I can find. These ones are pretty fun. Might go with that. Yeah, let's try that and then see what pants should she have. I think she had black pants to start. That could work. I don't think she would have torn pants though. Something like this could work as well. I think I might go with this for her instead. I don't think she would have something to like pale or colorful. I think she might have some sort of rich deep color like this or um, something similar. That could work. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> this is very tempting since she is into dance, but um, no, I don't think so. I've also got this. <laughs> They're pretty fun. I mean, if she has been into the dance career in the past, she could have like a ballet bar at home and do ballet. Maybe. Maybe I'll have to think about it. <laughs> So I think I won't start with that. Just go with this for now. Yeah, that works. Cool. Let's uh, change you back into your everyday. All right then, so that was the first sim down, and uh, let's continue with the boys, and we're starting with uh, Lauren. Hmm, all right. It's pretty short, I could go with something like, like this maybe. Or I could have this, this is pretty cool. Yeah, let's go with this I think. And how about eyebrows? Those look nice. 
I think I might want him to have a slight stubble. Yeah. And some um, just feature enhancing makeup. Yeah, I think that might work. Right. Let's keep that. And clothes. So we started with a turtleneck. And that might work as well. Hmm. Mm, this is pretty cool. Otherwise, I have these, but they are very um, form-fitting. <laughs> and yeah, and then we're over to the maxi stuff. Yeah, I think I might go with with this one. I think it's going to have to be these, because these are the only ones that don't poke through <laughs> the shirt in some way. So yeah, let's go with that. Oh, we actually had light pants to start yeah now he has dark pants <laughs> i already had those on he can keep them all right and uh, yeah he's gonna change back into his everyday there we have him, and then uh, finishing up with Ash. He had pretty wild hair to start out, so I'm tempted to go with this. I think I, I might do that. <laughs> Just commit quickly. <laughs> yeah, can, he can have those. Brows. Uh, looks like he already has stubble from the start, so we can keep that. Yeah, I think that should work. And then let's buy clothes. So he had like a punk rock thing going on. So <laughs> let's see what I can find. I have this. I think this might be the most similar. So I'm going to go with that and I need to find some good pants. Yeah, let's go with those. All right, and it's going to change back to his everyday. Nice, okay. Um, I'm going to give them all cell phones. Nice. And then I'm gonna have these guys walk to. Maybe I just have want to hold off until I set hour to eight because I need to do that to send her in time to work as well. So uh, let's see, can she run? She can run. So let's have her run upstairs and then take out the loan. Tank online loan. I think 10,000 should cut it. Good. And then she can um, run back downstairs. Good. And then I can uh, save so I don't lose the progress just in case there's a crash, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can go ahead and start to furnish this. The first thing I did was uh, recoloring the walls because I really didn't feel like these uh, colors were fitting the family. <laughs> so I actually had a particular um, wallpaper in mind for the boys' room, but uh, initially I couldn't find it, so <laughs> this is me struggling with the wallpapers. Um, but I did end up finding it in the end, it's that one. And um, yeah, Lindsay's room is also recolored into a uh, floral uh, wallpaper. And also the big room became a dark blue color instead. I felt like that uh, suited this family better. And then the layout of the bedroom became pretty similar to 
the apartment uh, downstairs. I just felt like that was a good way to split up the square room and um, give the boys plenty of space to have like their own separate parts of the room. With it being teenage boys room, <laughs> I wanted it to be pretty messy, so I put down some decorative throne clothes <laughs> on the floor. I'm pretty sure that came with like the teenage stuff pack. And some nice uh, pillows, cozy it up a bit, and blankets of course, but I, I made sure to pick out the bunched up ones. <laughs> because I don't feel like they would be very um, good at making their beds. <laughs> The computer went in the boys' room as well, but like that was a good place for it. And I recently got this amazing tapestries uh, as part of a um, set by Blind Divine, and it's called uh, Glow Up, a sort of project. And I highly recommend taking a look at that on Tumblr because if you're into like neon and um, those kinds of things. There's some really cool stuff here that I really look forward to using in downtown later when I renovate the bowl bowling alley and the uh, games places and <laughs> things like that. Um, yeah, so highly recommend. And uh, I liked the thought of having sort of um, moody lights in here as well. So I put in a red like base game light that will cast a red hue in the room at night. So that's gonna be a nice touch, I think. And some books and things as well, just, you know, scattered teenage stuff <laughs> is what I wanted to go with in here. And then I moved on to um, the mother's room. And um, yeah, I mentioned this when I built these apartments, but I do use this trick pretty often nowadays to use a 3x4 room to put in a double bed and um, you could see what I normally do there. I squish in the headboard of this particular bed into the wall and since I play with walls up it uh, actually looks good. It just looks like it's a bed without the headboard. Um, the only thing you have to keep in mind when you do that is, uh, oh well, two things really. The reason why I couldn't put it on the wall where I started to do it is because of the door. The door has to actually be on the um, far right or the far left side of the long, longest wall for it to work. Uh, otherwise, um, the door will interfere with the, um, the foot end of the bed and it won't work. Uh, but here you can see me uh, do the same trick again. And the other thing you have to keep in mind is where the bedside table is, because if it's um, on the uh, same tile <laughs> that it is originally, uh, it will actually block the sims from um, getting into the bed. So just like you have to squish in the um, headboard of the bed into the wall, you also have to squish in the bedside table mesh into the wall as well. So what I normally do is I take a pretty small bedside table so that it still looks good. Um, so yeah. At this point I was uh, crossing my fingers that uh, the one I had used was actually going to work. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, if it doesn't, uh, I think it's also possible to um, put the bedside table on a walkthrough block and uh, that's going to fix it. Yeah, and then I moved on to the, the bathroom. Pretty um, neutral grey one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was uh, a pretty good size one actually. Um, and I uh, think that uh, having that door on the diagonal wall helps a lot as well with, you know, giving space into the room. But still making uh, the, yeah, it's a good compromise between rooms, is what I'm trying to say, I think. Because uh, the door into the big room also isn't, uh, you know, intruding too much either. I moved on to the kitchen and at first I was going with these uh, cabinets, but uh, yeah, I couldn't make it look good. <laughs> uh, those um, uh, yeah, cabinets were sitting too high up on the wall and they weren't shiftable and then yeah, it didn't look good. So I ended up going with the kitchen basic stuff anyway. Uh, that's uh, sort of my motto whenever in doubt, use kitchen basic. <laughs> it's such a good set. And uh, yeah, I used a 
blue recolor of it that I don't use a lot, but uh, it uh, fitted pretty well into this uh, apartment, I think. And some extra counter spaces as well. And then uh, I'm gonna put in a table here. So this uh, sort of became uh, an open plan kitchen cubby, <laughs> if you can call it that. Um, and I think it worked out. At, st at the start I wasn't sure if I wanted this end of the apartment to be the living room or the kitchen, but I think that using it for the kitchen was the better option, actually. Because the kitchen, of course, needs a little bit more space than what the a living room needs, generally. I made sure to put the shoes closer to the diagonal door rather than the, um, the other one, because um, in my experience, um, the decorative stuff, um, if it's too close to a um, door that sits on a, you know, is it called a straight wall? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that kind of wall. Um, it tends to keep the door staying open. Uh, but the same thing doesn't happen for the diagonal doors, I've noticed. So um, it's, a, it's a better choice to keep decorative things close to that kind of door rather than the other one. And it was a good fit for a carpet here as well. Using a carpet um, in this space made it feel like its own um, separate room almost. So it squared the space in, in a nice way, I think. And uh, yeah, I struggled a little bit with putting in the game console but uh, yeah because I wanted to snap to the TV table <laughs> but uh, removing the table and then putting it down was the trick. Alright I was just about to start playing now but uh, I just realized that I didn't put in a bookshelf <laughs> and uh, I feel like they have to have a bookshelf somewhere. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Uh, I would like it to be in connection with the, uh, the living room area. So I think I'm going to actually just uh, exchange this for um, a book bookshelf. A book bookshelf. <laughs> and um, yeah, I can pick this one. There we go. Then they actually have a bookshelf. Good. I'm also starting to think like... Um, since she likes dance, um, should they have stereo here somewhere? Maybe I can put one like on the counter. It has to be a little, pretty slim one like this, I guess. Not too close to the, uh, <laughs> to the, um, the water, I think. Yeah, let's try that. That could work. <laughs> so then they can listen to music in the kitchen as well. Right. Okay, but I better stop now and start playing. <laughs> so I'm going to set our to eight. And that should um, bring the school bus and she can walk to work. Uh, right. And before I do that, she needs to have a job stopinator. That she doesn't get a promotion all of a sudden. Nice. She's walking in her lab coat. <laughs> oh, and once again, I forgot about the time control clock. So <laughs> I also need to put that in, of course. Yeah, I think it can go in the boys room. Slowing the speed to 50. Yeah, and I'm just going to speed through until they're back. Oh, Mr. Humble was here, so I just need to delete the package. Okay, so today at school, Lauren is asked to decide what instrument he would like to learn for music class. The cello or the trumpet? Um, let's go with cello. Lauren has always been drawn to the subtle artistry of the cello and takes it to... And takes to it like a cat to a fiddle. His fingers fly over the strings and everyone is impressed. Lauren gains some music and dance enthusiasm. Cool. Does he have um, 
interesting that he does actually he has quite a lot in music and dance as well as sports and then yeah now it's fitness for him hmm yeah interesting okay so the teens are back from school uh, actually i didn't look at their skills um this look normal and, and good um, he doesn't have any skills at all. And then he has quite a lot of skills, so um, that doesn't seem very realistic. Um, would he have that much in creativity? I don't think so. I'm going to bring that down to two, maybe one even. The other ones he can have, I think, but he needs to have some skills. I can actually go with the Sim Blender. Let's see, skills, limits. Oh, but I think that's going to set the fixed limit, right? Yeah, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to randomize him and then bring it down instead. So he can have some in mechanical, that's fine. Charisma, he can have one that matches the need. Body, he's supposed to be into sports and fitness, so that's fine. Logic, I think I can bring down as well. And creativity, I think I'm going to bring down. So then he has at least some skills. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, he has brought home a friend from school. This one of the ones I'm going to play with, who's in the family bins right now, Rose Miller, but uh, I haven't moved her in yet. Are they going to have work today? He does not have work. And he does have work. So he's going to leave very soon. Um, but it would be interesting for him to just meet Rose then. I think she might be on the way up though. So the first thing he did was sit down to play video games. Interesting. Something he does for fun then. Let's um, give her a high five. Not interested in her the in the least. <laughs> so I think I'm actually just going to say goodbye to her for now. Um, and then they can catch up once I've actually had time to play with her a bit so I know more about her. Yeah, you can um, play together. For like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, they have a, a good relationship. I think that was my doing though. Alright, so Ash is leaving for work. We're gonna have some alone time with Lorne for a bit. Just trying to think about his fitness hobby. Is there anything I can do to like give him a hobby object? I don't think so. He might be able to do a workout with this stereo, maybe? Oh, wait, maybe if I, um, if I get him a um, MP3 player. Shop online, uh, electronic gadgets, buy MP3 player. Uh, because I have a mod that allows them to work out with that. So then he can, uh, can do that for exercise. Great, and then um, maybe he would do that out back. Just going to keep an eye out if I see Lakshmi as well, because I want him to um, at least greet her. Right, so let's see here. MP3 workout. Yeah, it actually gives him a lot of fun, so that's nice. Ah, there she is. I think he's gonna go and uh, at least greet her. And here's also Trista that he can greet. Or maybe actually uh, Lindsay wants to greet Trista. Okay, they are a bit attracted to one another and that's 
makes sense. Uh, he's a pleasure sim and she's a romance sim, so that usually is a, <laughs> a good combination. Uh, she looks very happy to, to see him. Um, see if they have uh, common interests. So he tells her about moving in. And I mean, these two should have quite a lot in con common since they're both knowledge sims and uh, interested in science. <laughs> and they start disagreeing the first thing that happens, of course, just because I said that. <laughs> and you're talking about fashion. Seems fitting. Is he into fashion as well? Yeah, slightly. Slightly into fashion. Yeah, they, they didn't um, really get along that well. Let's try to um, talk about science and let's see what happens. <laughs> Maybe that's better. <laughs> he wants to give her a noogie, but I think uh, he better introduce himself to Trista first. And she can also greet Lakshmi. Okay. She wants to get a pet. And that is something I might be interested in for her, actually. But right now it seems too crowded, so I think I'm going to hold off a bit on that. Um, yeah, she, she can come upstairs and uh, I think it's about time to soon at least cook dinner. All right, great. So I'm going to send him upstairs to uh, freshen up a bit, I think. All right, so let's see here. She wants to gain a skill point in something. I think she can just browse web for science for now, uh, because she's going to have to help Lauren with his homework when he's done at the bathroom. Great, that will also free up the table for when they actually <laughs> should eat dinner. When are you coming home from work? At uh, six, okay. Yeah, I don't think that Lauren is that studious, really. <laughs> He's a little bit of the um, odd one out, if compared to his mother and uh, little brother, because they're very, you know, sciencey knowledge sims. I think that they have like the same wavelength and can go on to lengthy discussions on the on topics that interest them and. Lauren is probably not that interested in that at all and feels left out often. <laughs> I, I can really see that happening. He's, um, yeah, I bet he's more of the um, social outgoing kind of guy who um, doesn't enjoy spending his evenings sitting inside. <laughs> yeah, so these two have the exact same personality actually even. Um, so he's the odd one out. <laughs> In that aspect. Oh yeah, I don't think I gave them any benefits. That's why his uh, needs are going down so quickly. That's actually a good point. I should probably bump up the energy a little bit then. For both of them. Right. Um, so Lindsay, you can actually... Let me just see if you can get anything more. No, you can't. All right. So let's have you serve dinner. You can go with some uh, goopy carbonara. And what do you want to do in the meantime? I think Lakshmi has gone back inside, right? Yeah, she has. Um, maybe he can just um, sit at the computer for a bit. Yeah. Browse web for fitness. So it won't be very long until uh, both her sons have left the nest and moved out. And 
I'm sure that uh, Lindsay is um, ready to get to know a bit more people and start up like, yeah, a, a family with someone if she can, because I mean, uh, she did become a secondary family, right? Yes, exactly. So I think that this, you know, single mom life that she has, even though she loves her sons, uh, I don't think that this is her um, her ideal living situation. <laughs> I think that she would like to find a partner and uh, possibly have more kids and, you know, something that's more um, stable, if you could say that. Something that's more, um, yeah, a more tightly knit family unit with, uh, you know, a man in the picture as well. Probably pretty challenging for a single mother to raise two, two young boys after all. Right, you can stop that and uh, eat dinner. And now we have also Ash back from work. He actually ate at work though, so looks like he doesn't need to... Uh, to think about that. But uh, Lindsay can have another plate, looks like. He is in desperate need of fun now, though. And he also wants to buy an MP3 player. So I think I'm going to do that for him. Since his brother got one. It's only fair that he also gets one. <laughs> it is a bit of a shame that I can't squeeze in a um, telescope here. Because you can actually use them indoors if they are next to a window. So it could work, but I'd either have to sacrifice part of um, Lindsay's bedroom or the living room area. And I don't think that's realistic, really. So, <clears throat> I mean, if I did give the boys a bunk bed instead, they could actually have a telescope in that corner, though. That might actually be an idea. But then again, Lauren is going to move out soon. He only has three days left now. So I think that... Um, I think I'm going to hold off right now. And maybe when he has moved out, they can put in a telescope in this room. But yeah, so... You have not met Lakshmi. Is she outside? No. No, she's not. I mean, he could go downstairs and borrow their telescope, technically. Um, but it seems a bit fishy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't think he's going to do that. Um he was interested in playing games earlier, though, so I think I'm going to have him keep doing that. So he has some fun up, and then Lindsay can help him with his homework as well. Oh, okay, so he's finished, but he's still very hungry, so I'm going to uh, thought I was going to be able to... Oh. I think this uh, table might be not be blocking the sim <laughs> or something. <laughs> Maybe that's why that's why the hitbox on the plate became so small. Great, and I think that she can make coffee and drink that. Right, so he's finished with that and Maybe he wants to bring his brother downstairs to meet Lakshmi. Just briefly. So yeah, I think I'm going to have both of them walk downstairs. Now the question is what Lindsay wants to do. I mean, she wants to gain another skill point, really. Maybe I should just have her sit down and uh, study cooking for now. Oh, here she is now. Great. Oh, are you still upstairs? Okay. So 
He wants to improve his logic skills. I'm locking that in. Apparently, Lauren has some trouble routing for some reason. Oh, he's really not attracted <laughs> to her. <laughs> All right. Well, so far, he's only met girls he's really unattracted to. So he might be a uh, tricky person to please. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, oh, are these two flirting here? Oh, he, maybe he's trying to flirt with uh, Trista, but she doesn't seem to be into it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, but I think I'm going to send him back upstairs uh, to ask Lindsay for homework help. And Lauren can uh, keep interacting with Lakshmi here for a bit. He keeps wanting to give her a nugget, so I guess I'm going to let him. It's not going to make her like you, you know. <laughs> Oh, let's see if they want to interact naturally. Yeah, they're just ch chatting for now. I have to interrupt that so she can help him. Oh, hi, Renel. <laughs> have uh, Renel walking past here. Let's just do this for quickly. Great. And they're talk back to talking about fashion. I suppose that's um, something they, are, they have in common then. Yeah, they're getting along great so far. Okay, he's uh, <laughs> whistling at her. Oh, the first gossip. Okay, so it's about uh, Patrick, apparently. But not very specified. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's bragging. Oh, he just learned how to study. Yeah. I mean, she did too, so. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, right. So they have just finished with the homework stuff. Maybe he can go back to playing some games. And he can also play games. He's starting to get a bit hungry, so maybe he can have a snack later. Um, hmm. I'm thinking about the dancing thing. I could squeeze in a ballet bar here in the corner, technically. Maybe I should do that. And then she can dance for a bit. So far, Lauren isn't having that much fun. <laughs> Hopefully that will change soon for him. Yeah, but for all their differences in personality, I think that having, um, you know, a console and playing games together is something that has kept these two very close. And also, of course, sharing a room and... Yeah, but I'm sure that they can um, have fights <laughs> sometimes as well because of their differences. Yeah, okay, he's had enough and he's pretty tired as well. So I think I'm just going to have him um, use the bathroom once and head to bed. And Ash can uh, eat something, I think. Okay, now Lindsay also is... Very tired, so I'm sure she's going to go to bed as well. Maybe he can get leftovers. Yeah, she's really tired. So I'm just going to send her to sleep as well. Let's see if this bed is uh, working with the table. Maybe I have to put that on a walkthrough block, so let's see. No, it worked actually. Good. Yeah, it's very interesting that he's so similar to his mother. It just happened to become like that. I didn't uh, look into that part when I um, put the families together. Okay, so clean up that, put the leftovers away, and then I think it's about time for him to, to just go to sleep as well. Okay then, so I'm going to save 
and uh, yeah, keep playing for another day. All right, so it's morning, and um, right, Lindsay's carpool is arriving really bright and early <laughs> at seven in the morning. So I'm just gonna have her uh, go out of bed and have a um, shower. She should have time for that. Yeah, Lauren, I think, is gonna wake up and have breakfast. Have some uh, cereal. And Ash is waiting for the bathroom. There we go, now I can get up as well and freshen up. I think Lindsay might um, sit down with her son before she has to leave, just to say good morning, chat. Okay, so Lauren has a um, role they want to go steady with someone. It has a very short time to manage it, so I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm sure he's going to keep rolling this once anyway. And um, yeah, it won't be until um, I actually play the high school that I'm going to have all the options in front of me. <laughs> so Yeah, and also Lindsay is thinking about romance, poor thing. I'm sure that she's going to want to prioritize finding <laughs> a partner when she can. Right, so she's leaving for work. Uh, she's almost done at the bathroom and I think that Lauren can use the bathroom after him. Right, <clears throat> and Ash can also eat something, I think. Some cereal as well. Just gonna have Lauren sit down with his brother until they leave for school. It's gonna be very soon. Hmm. Okay, talking about culture and art. Is that something that they have in common? Yeah, actually. Gonna cancel that out and then have him clean this up before he leaves. <laughs> you might have to run now. Yep, here he comes. <laughs> the skunk is in the way. <laughs> All right, we're fast forwarding through the day. Okay, great, they're back from school, and actually both of them are working today, leaving to for work very, very soon. So Lauren still has his wants for uh, romance here. We have uh, Frikorith here, walking past. I'm gonna ignore him for now. Ash looked very interested though. <laughs> Looks like he wants to play catch, so maybe um, maybe they have time for a very, very quick one before they leave. And at least he is slightly in the green, so <laughs> it's better. Yeah, I'm sure that Lauren can't wait for a university because he just yeah wants to party and have fun. <laughs> this sort of domestic lifestyle is uh, boring for him, I think. Are you going to play catch in the road? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so here's the carpool. We have to leave. I think both of them will be back at 6 p.m. Yeah. Okay, so let's wait for um, Lindsay. Oh. Wow, he's really stinking. <laughs> Wonder what he's been up, up doing. Um, right. So she's uh, having sort of the same ones that she's been having. Um, change into every day. I'm gonna see if she can um, knock on, on the Phelps door and um, interact a bit with um, Trista. 
Oh, she can't actually visit them, but she can ask Trista to come out if she's at home. Oh, she's at work. But the car is here. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Uh, okay, so... Maybe she should just come upstairs and chat with a bunch of people. Or there weren't that many here, but... Just to get to know some people. She still has the want to get a pet. And I really feel like she's the person who would get a pet. So I think I'm going to keep that locked in for later. Okay, good. So now she knows some more people. Let's just check. I think that this means that Tristan might be back home now. We also have Michael that she can greet. Let's see if they uh, they can reach each other, or if it's uh, an awkward place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they worked it out. Good. Okay, so very similarly to Trista, she also has uh, <laughs> two two bolts with him, but um, yeah. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Um, oh, good. We have Trista here. Apparently wearing those uh, work outfits. That work outfit that I specifically didn't want her to wear. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Can I do gussy up on her maybe? Change into everyday. Yeah, that's better. I feel like these two should be close friends. They have so much in common after all. They didn't get off on the right foot, but looks like this time it works better. Just gonna <clears throat> take this opportunity to greet someone walking by and say goodbye to him again. No. Too shy seems admiring each other. <laughs> Apparently he also wanted to admire her, so... I bet she's feeling really cornered right now. <laughs> yeah, they are getting along much better now. Oh, he wants to flirt with her now. Okay. Yeah, no, you're being awkward, dude. <laughs> she had the exact same reaction that Lindsay did. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. She doesn't like him. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see if she can keep talking to Lindsay. Oh, sorry. Talk to Trista, I mean. Mixing the names together already. <laughs> I mean, things are going great right now, but this guy is just third wheeling. <laughs> He's just really awkwardly standing next to them. <laughs> okay, so the, the boys are coming home from from work but yeah it looks like they have eaten both of them so they don't really need to have dinner so I think that Lindsay can keep chatting for a bit as long as Trista wants to right so he's not feeling super well still can't get any more benefits yeah he needs to use the bathroom so let's start with that and Ash needs to do something fun, so why don't you uh, browse web for, unless you can blog? No, but browse web for science. Let's see if these two can uh, become friends. Oh, Michael is in the way. <laughs> Great, they made friends. Nice. Uh, yeah, but I think it's about time for her to go upstairs. And yeah, all of them are super tired because of the slowdown time. So I'm going to bump up their energy a bit. It doesn't seem like that's very fun for him. So maybe he wants to just play instead. And the brothers can play with each other. And then, uh, yeah, Lindsay can use the bathroom. Oh, right, and they need to pay the bills as well. So 
I'm gonna start with that actually before I forget it. God, Michael, you, re you really need to give it a rest with the flirting. You're gonna make enemies of <laughs> these two girls. Wow, he really seems like a creep. Trista, you better go back to your apartment. Okay, good. So that's paid. And she could eat something. I think that she's going to. So maybe... Maybe just some quick veg vegetable soup. Apparently he really needs to use the bathroom. Yeah, and you can do your homework. Maybe I need to flip this around then. Okay, nice. Um, hmm. I think she's gonna just dance for a bit. Not much else to do right now. So Lauren is done. Uh, I think that looks like Lakshmi is down here, so maybe he can go and chat with her for a bit, unless she's actually okay. <laughs> we can go downstairs anyway and see if she can uh, come out again. And Ash needs to do something fun again. I hate to send him back playing again, but maybe he would just enjoy like sitting down and reading like a sci-fi book. Let's see if she wants to come out. Maybe it's too late in the evening. No, she actually did come out. Nice. Then they can at least uh, chat for a bit. Where are you going though? <laughs> okay. We're going out back apparently. Somewhere a bit more private. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't want to hear about his travel ideas, no. <laughs> Why would you ever want to go to Tweaky Island? It's insane. <laughs> oh, he's starting to talk about travel again. Didn't you learn anything? <laughs> oh, she's so bored. This is not going well. Okay, maybe third time's the charm. Oh, yeah, talk about homework. That's better. Yeah, both of these are teens with part-time jobs, so they're earning their own money. And they're yeah living in pretty meager conditions as well, so I bet that to be a fun topic to talk about. How much money they're going to earn when they're adults. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of career Lauren would want to get into. Um, I don't think it's going to remain in the military profession and I don't think that I'm going to have my sims in that career because I feel like that's very, you know, specific to a area where a military base would be. Like I imagine that if you're in the military, you would travel a lot and these sims are going to remain in this neighborhood. Um, so yeah, there could definitely be like sports and fitness related in some way. He could, could go into like acting and things like that, become a stunt person or something. <laughs> Those kinds of uh, career options are open in, in a city like this after all. Let's see if they interact naturally. Oh, another noogie. Nice. <laughs> Messing up her hair when you do that. <laughs> Is that how you make girls like you? Mm -hmm. yeah, they're almost friends now though But uh, he likes her more than she likes him apparently Because they're not um... Oh, we get going to the back rub I see Well that's gonna be better Now you're getting it Yeah, and that's 10pm, um, that's when they go back to their apartments but I think he can like do a quick MP3 workout now that he's back here anyway. 
Oh, yeah. And since he's been sitting reading sci-fi, <laughs> his hygiene has gone down like crazy. <laughs> because everyone knows that when you read sci-fi books, you become extremely stinky. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Okay, so Lindsay has actually gone to bed. So she's been working out in her room a bit and then getting tired. It looks like Ash could actually eat something now. And maybe Lauren too. Yeah. But he's on the way to bed. I think maybe Lauren, could you um, serve up some dinner? Oh, no. He really can't. He's, is he that bad at cooking that he can't do anything? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, hmm. That's strange, though, because I could have sworn that he should have something available at least, right? Um, yeah, that should be a glitch, actually, because he should be able to, like, serve the special meals. Weird. Maybe if he goes upstairs, it's going to change. Yeah, it did change. So it was because he was downstairs. <laughs> Maybe it was because he was on the way to bed or something. Weird. Uh, but anyway, so then he can serve up some... Well, let's not uh, test fate <laughs> with the stove. And let's make some salami sandwiches. A nice night sandwich. It's always good. Oh, there's a coffee mug. Really? Oh, it's in the TV. <laughs> right, I really should um, put down some of surface blockers here. Yeah, occupied surface. I think there were like two slots on it. Oh. They don't have anything to talk about, looks like. They're just eating <laughs> in silence. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> now they're talking. Yeah, they're both very tired. Um, but yeah. You are slightly less tired, so you can take care of the dishes. You're also the neat one. Yeah. Much more neat. Nice. And then he can go to bed as well. All right. And that was the two days that I'm going to be playing them now. So that was the Wilson family. And um, I think that there's a lot of uh, possibilities here. Um, I don't didn't get a very you know, strong feeling for um, the exact characteristics of them. Um, but I do think that it might be a good idea for Lindsay to be the um, science teacher at the high school. I think that might be something to just go with. Uh, but I think that a lot more of her personality is going to come out when the boys have actually moved out. And I also have set up the neighborhood more with uh, community lots and such so that she can actually start to go out and clubbing and those kinds of things that she wants to do. So I think that that's going to help. Um, Lauren is soon going to move to university and I think that's uh, definitely going to be a good thing for him because he's, he's not doing that well at home <laughs> right now with um, yeah being a lot more outgoing and uh, into partying and dating and those kinds of things rather than having this sort of quiet home life that suits Ash a lot more on the other hand. So yeah, I think that he's uh, going to stay very, very close with his mother as well. Because they are so similar. But then again, sometimes being similar to your parent is actually what makes you not get along. So <laughs> it's funny how that that is how it is sometimes as well. When you have too much in common, you know. <laughs> so there might be some, some struggles with that. But yeah, also going to have to think about a pet for, um, for uh, Lindsay. I think uh, either a dog or a cat would work, actually. I think she um, she could be into both kinds of pets. But yeah. 
So we're going to have to see how things uh, progress with this family. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.